Hey everybody, good afternoon. How's it going? How's your day going? Is it going well? Or is it corrupt? Hmm, corrupt. What comes to mind when I think of corrupt? The Wu-Tang. The Horseman. The Dog Pound. Molestation. That's what comes to mind. It's very disappointing about Corrupt. I remember when he was on Killer Priest's um, podcast when I was a moderator 10 months ago. Had I known then what I do now, it's probably better I didn't. Mm -hmm. Anyway, it's very disappointing to hear of another fucking pedophile. Yeah, so you guys may have heard this already. So when Corrupt was 22... He got in trouble for molesting or being with a under the age of 14. She was either 13 or 14. Mm-hmm. And says that they all do it. Okay. Group got stupid. We said they were all... Why they did a, a, a junior high school promotion at a junior high school? To this day. To this day. I don't know what was going on. But he went up to a junior high school. And as they all do, I guess they pulled one of the little young girls under 14 at this event. And, um, then come home for a couple of days. Parents found out. Um, you gotta put some blame on the parents too. But uh, still, should, instead of corrupt being in jail to this day for molestation or rape of a kid under 14 years of age, which is a major crime in the state of California. Somehow that never came to light and went away. I would certainly say that the corruption is real. Child abuse is real. Molestation is real. Taking advantage of people because you're in a position where you think because you're famous that you can just get away with whatever. So Corrupt had fucked this underage girl. She was like 13, 14 years old. And what happened? Oh, it got paid off. Mm -hmm. They got paid big money to keep their fucking mouth shut. Settled out of court. You know, don't want to interfere with the label now, do they? No, no, got to bring in that money. Anything to cover the corporate brand. Fuck a little girl's life. Forget about the fact of how she's going to suffer and remember this, whether she was a willing participant at the time or not, she was underage. She did not have the mental faculties to make an informed decision. But corrupt thought, okay, let's corrupt this girl. That's often the case with entertainers. See, and then if you speak out, you get silenced or paid off or threatened. The disappointment is real. But you know what? I believe in justice. You reap what you sow. Good luck. I was the one responsible for paying the lawsuit to the parents while I was in charge of the company. Because they did sue us. Uh, or was planning on sewing us, I forget how to go, but it got paid out. And that's why Shug sent them home and said, I think you need to go and be with your mother for a little while. And it was mainly because Krupp was a major alcoholic back then. He used to see Krupp at 10 o'clock in the daytime. And he had a bottle of Hennessy. 
in his hand. So yeah, that's what happened with corrupt. And I don't know. Maybe corrupt has changed. Maybe he's no longer the old person that he was back in the day. It's not my place to judge him. But I do believe that in one way, shape, or form, he will be held accountable. Cause and effect. Tough. As above, so below. When you do things that are hidden and you think that nobody knows, justice will come around. It always does. And all we have to do is sit back and watch. You don't have to participate. We don't have to judge them. We don't have to um, rub anything in their face. They already are living with what they've done. And if they have any type of a soul or conscious, they'll do, well, I can't say that. I don't know what they'll do. <sighs> My main point with this is really people stop following these entertainers. Stop with the false idol worship. Don't think because they speak to you or fuck you that that means they care about you. No, it means in that moment you are beneficial and useful like a rag. They could wipe their ass on you and keep it moving after. Parents, don't let your children go into the entertainment industry. Don't, don't, don't. It's a nasty world, and you might think that, oh, this organization is great. No, they're not. Oh, I could let them work with Disney. Don't do it. Oh, I could let... Just don't. <laughs> Protect your children. Protect yourself. Protect your mental space. And leave those mentals out there in their own... I don't know place.